Hello grade 11. We're now to make up for lost time. We're now going to do writing to a text file after we've added new marks to our array. Remember what we did? We read from the text file and we added the marks to the array. And we got that. Now this is the new marks. We're going to add it to, we're actually going to write those marks to a text file. We know that there's two arrays involved here, ARON names and ARON marks. And we're going to take each one of those in turn and write it to a string, the name of the person, comma, and then the mark. The name of the person, comma, and then the mark. We're going to write it to a new text file. So when you want to write to a text file, this is after we've done all the business and we've displayed everything from the last video. So now we want to write to a text file. We have to check if the text file exists. If not, file exists. And the name of the text file we'll call names and marks txt if it does not exist then we'll assign file and because we used my file here we can only use my file again if we close it after you read from it okay you have to close it after you read from it if you want to use that text file variable again so I can now do this my file same text file variable and names and marks.txt. And if it does not exist, we will create it with a rewrite statement, just like that. But if it does exist, we have an else here. If it does exist, then we want to append it. We will sign file statement and we'll put it in append mode. In other words, add lines to it. That's just an example. So once we've done that, we can write ln because rewrite and append use write ln. And we're going to use a for loop going from each one to um, 15. In other words, all the boxes of our parallel arrays. What we're going to do is we're going to say S1 line equals ARR name square brackets K join to a comma and then join to a string well it's a mark ARR marks is an integer so we have to whenever you write to a text file you have to make sure that you're writing strings to the text file only so if you have an integer like for instance ARR marks is an array of integers you have to convert that to a string so we're joining our line with these two array contents and then we're going to write the line, write ln my file s1 line. And that's going to happen in the for loop 15 times. And after the for loop we say close file my file and then we can show a message that was done. Um, data has been saved to a text file. Okay, should use capital letters, eh? Really bad with that. So, after yesterday, I mean, the last video, you were reading from a text file and adding marks. Remember, we did that and we rounded, and then we closed my file over here after you read from that text file. We display the new marks and now we're going to go and write it to the text file. If a file does not exist, we'll create it with rewrite. If it does exist, we'll just go into append mode. But after those two, we can then go use our for loop and create the string with one array contents joined to a comma, joined to the other array, which has to be converted to a string. And then we write that S1 line, that line that we've joined up to the text file variable my file which was assigned over here okay but we always have to close file after then and remember that if you're going to use the same text file variable that you use for reading then we need to close that text file variable after you read from it let's go and check that so I'm just going to click all the buttons I don't need to do that one 
add new marks and write to text file. Data has been saved. There it is. And you can go and check out the text file. Names and marks. There it is. All the new marks. If you want to check that that is the right one, it sure is. Okay. So, see you again.